be happy with this start offensively. Wizards have gone 6 of 10 from the field in this ballgame. There is a screen by Gortat. And Beal kicks to Gortat. And that one's on target from the wing. Gortat's got six points. Boy, they are passing the ball very crisply right now. They really are, and their last three buckets have come by way of an assist. The shot's good from Smooth. They've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball into the paint. Clearly, they've been the aggressors thus far when it comes to attacking the interior in this first half. Now, here is Morris. He had 10 points in the win against Brooklyn. Gorgeot misses. High-quality shot. Just a little off there with the release. And, Greg, that has him s h h -E. Shaking his head. He tough miss that time. <laughs> two points, two rebounds, two assists. A moment now to see the numbers for a reason. The last ten games, he right around 17 points a night, five rebounds and four assists. And he's been putting up points with regularity. I mean, that's what they depend on, his killer instinct on offense. Yeah, yeah, and anytime this club needs a bucket, he's their go-to. Just irrepressible and a prolific scorer. Here is Wall. The Rockets making the shot. Mene, the screen. Beal from long range. Dwight Howard grabs the ball. Or you can steal my rebound. Three rebounds so far in the game. Clark, this offense has really been clicking. No doubt about it. Giving the defense all kinds of trouble. And they know it, guys. They're playing right now with the kind of energy that is hard to deal with. Now Wall, following the three-point attempt by Free. Beal can't get that one to fall. And no excuse there for missing that one after being freed up by a great pick. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, they came away. I wanted to lay up. They got the look they wanted, and really, I... I've been, I like the movement and communication. Too bad I it, 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 it just wants to pull up for some reason. Into attack mode on the <laughs> he is one of the most determined rebounders, Clark, we have got in the NBA. Yeah, you're calling it right, Kevin. I mean, he gets so many second chance points because of how hard he works to get to the rebound. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, Greg, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. A good open look, and he splashes home the three. The Rockets trail. Freak with it. Turned in an outstanding game against Atlanta. Ariza kicks to Freak. Houston needs to get a shot off. From outside the arc, that's good from Ariza on the assist by Howard. And that's now seven points for Ariza. Only took them a few seconds to answer the three ball with one of their own. Greg, we've got a three-point battle taking shape here. Well, you, you have to like their work on the boards, Kevin, particularly here to start the game. Yeah, I like the way they're setting the tone. Really playing with a lot of energy here at the start. Come on now, young fella. Watch out. You might bring that whole basket down on top of it. I didn't think he was <laughs> ever going to let go of the rim. I tell you what, though. You might as well enjoy the moment. Make it last just a little longer. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sideline. Hey, Kevin. Well, the Rockets coach had some advice for the team over that last break. He said their plan was run their offense through three. Coach putting the pressure squarely on his shoulders by asking him to be the key man in the offense. It's not something they ask of him every game, but when they do, he can usually handle it. It's still very early in this game, so there's plenty of time for those changes to take effect, Kevin. All right, Doris. And he came off that screen, and the D just didn't get over the top of it. Yep, weren't there in time enough to challenge, Greg, and when that's the case... You can mark those up for him. Here's Roberts following the basket by Freak. Nene, the screen to the paint, feeds to Hansbrough. Mayo dishing to Nene. And he uses the glass on the way up. Nene's got his second bucket. It's almost as if both teams are in a zone. Well, offensively at least, partner. I mean, neither team has done Jack Ditley on team. 
over the last 10 games as we look at the Rockets, this is how they compare to the rest of the league. First in scoring, first in assists, and they're also number one in shooting percentage. This is a team that prides itself on taking high-quality shots. And you go back to their offense, the most explosive in the league. I mean, everyone talks about the great offense beating great defenses. And I tell you what, they make it difficult to hang with them. Wizards trail by three. There's a screen by Hansbrough. And it's Beal in the corner. Again, the Wizards score. And that's another assist for a team that is putting on a clinic on how to share the ball. And I love the mentality that they've had. If a shot isn't there, they're not forcing it. They're moving it side to side until they finally get the one they want. A nice shot by Roberts. That is up-tempo basketball at its best. So much easier to operate in the open court when a steal triggers the break. And really, basketball is about rhythm. And that allows your offense to flow better. Now let's see if they can build on it and keep this lead. Guys back and forth this first half. Well, five lead changes early on, guys, as we grapple back and forth. <laughs> and this could continue to go back and forth the entire way. There's a screen by Hensbrough. Here's the three. Shot by Roberts, no good. Houston's gone a meager one of six from three-point land since we got started. So smooth shot is off. He just has not been able to get into that groove yet, guys. But as a whole... It hasn't affected them too much. Beal can't get it to go. And listen, sometimes even the best of us are going to miss the easiest of opportunities. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. Five rebounds. Mayo against Chalmers. Mayo into the lane. Here's Roberts. Hits it from three-point range. Roberts got the game tied up here for Washington. And immediately looking for the open man when the double team comes to him. And There's a full quarter of game. And a chance to hear from Bradley Beal. He came from a football family in St. Louis, but said it. She definitely put the ball in my hand. She's the one who... <laughs> Maybe some other NBA players. So for the Wizards, Nene, he's checked in for Gortat. Beal comes in for O.J. Mayo. And John Wall subbed in for Brian Roberts. Houston with a big group substitution here. Trevor Ariza's checked in for Trevor Booker. Etwan Moore comes in for Michael Beasley. James Harden is checked in for Mario Chalmers. And Freak subbed in for... And I was going to go for another rebound there. Shoot. Come on. Every time I go for a rebound, they make it. And it's a small forward position. That's the group on the floor right now for Washington. Houston leading by four. Harden gets to a reason. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. 13 points for a reason. The way I'm in this game isn't through points, it's through assists and rebounds. It's Porter outside. The Rockets pull it in. That's another one. Freaks got his fifth rebound in this one. Solid job by them on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in rebound. You know what? That rebound has always been a critical element of the game. And that's why they are now understanding how to win. Harden the pass to score. <laughs> and what a beautiful way to polish off that sequence. Just strong at attacking the rim. That just puts a little more momentum on their side, don't you think? Absolutely. The defense got to tighten up now. I mean, you can't have the opposing oh, that's seven. point guard oh, going come on. down on you like that. It's stolen by Ariza. And here comes Moore, leading the fast break. And it's good. Walk through contact, gets the shot. He'll go to the free throw line. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for the Rockets. They've come out in attack mode on the defensive end. They've applied pressure and forcing turnovers. The other thing they've had going for them tonight is working hard on the offensive glass. They've had a number of putbacks. Smooth shot is off. Well, most games he can knock it down from deep, but it just isn't there for him in this one. Wall attacking. There it is, his third basket. He's taken seven shots to get those three. He presents a defender with a serious challenge. Always. Capella kicks to Freak. Passes it to Capella. Here's more. That's short off the rim. Wizards trail by nine. And the pass to Wall. From 16 feet away, he can't. Wall's got eight points. And the mid-range 
rarely the hallmark of efficiency in today's NBA, but it is on point tonight. It sure is, Greg. It might be the strongest aspect of their offense here. Been a great game tonight for free. Eight rebounds and six assists. That kind of mix of assists and rebounds is what wins you basketball games. Clark, it's a rarity when you've got a guy that can just do it as well as he does on both ends. Hansbrough setting the pick for Wolf. Layup off the pick. It's good, and he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play chance here. The Wizards have gone six of nine at the line. You know, even though they're behind, I love the job they've been doing getting to the free throw line. We always like it when you're aggressive and not settling. Man, can you always depend on him or what to lead you to the right place with that pass? Money. And then they continue to control the glass. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team, and that's why they're ahead. They are not rotating. Ten points, eight rebounds, seven assists. Got to get quicker there. Just no resistance on the interior. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. 76% on the season from the foul line. And he sinks the second. For the Houston Rockets, they won their last contest in that game against the Atlanta Hawks. That, that one was lopsided. Another assist. And, and you've got to say, not all that shocking. Yeah, you know, I expected them to win, but the margin of victory was eye-popping. I mean, they ran away with it. And he gets it to go. Wall's got 11. You know, he's putting on an outstanding offensive display, and he may just be getting warmed up here. Smooth shot is off. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Stolen by Harden. Ariza outside. Here's Smooth. Cannot hit. And it's if you would have passed it to me line. before Harden, that would have been great. On him this he just hasn't been able to get it going. I mean, he was great in his last game, Clark, and clearly he has not lost that love and feel. Pass to Capella. Kick out to Moore. Houston moving it around. Smooth. Good on the three-point shot. Freak's got seven now in this quarter. Hey, really, the defense didn't do a lot to fight around that screen on that possession. And the shot's good from the name. 58 seconds left to play here in the half. Here's Smooth, and he jams it with authority. And how about a little bit of showmanship there as he increases the lead? Oh, I like that. That's got to be, though, a tough pill for the defense to swallow. Well, he's a guy that you know can hurt you with his passing. And right there, he does some damage with his finishing, too. And that'll increase their rebound advantage. They've definitely been winning that battle on the board. You know what? No rebounds, no rings. And they've controlled the boards. And that's what's given them control of this game. Hansborough, that's good. They have repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And it's paid dividends. And with as many points as they've gotten in the paint, you know, they haven't had to do much work on the perimeter. Here's Smooth. That one rolling around and rims out. Well, that's a bad miss right there. I mean, you'd like to see him be a little more assertive when he has such good position. That'll do it for the first. Well, looking at the stats, it's hard to doubt you have been the number one factor for your team. Do you feel like you're controlling the paint right now? Am I controlling the paint? Yo, I'm always controlling the paint. Just natural to me. In high school, I controlled the paint. In college, I controlled the paint. Even when I worked in the hardware store, you know what? I controlled the paint section. That's what I did. Kevin? second half about to start up and begin any moment you look at freak in this game he has been everywhere it's as if he can get to the rim any time he wants and in that first half he wanted to quite a bit and that's where his points were coming from i mean the defense has to do a much better job of challenging him at the rim and so in the game for the rockets Harden and Ariza filling out the perimeter. Beasley out there with Howard. And it's smooth in at the point guard position. 17 and points. And keeping us updated from the sideline. Let's swing it over to Doris Burke for an update. Hi, Doris. Well, Kev, free.